Foster youth face many barriers to learning. They move from home to home, many dealing with trauma and homelessness. In part two of her Education Matters series, Equity of Access in the Classroom, Juanita Stevenson shows us how schools are working to meet the challenges these students face. Individual because Imagine walking onto a crowded high school campus after you've been placed in your third foster home in a month, moved several times. When I moved homes and um, like schools, I, 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 I was just scared. Getting used to the, my surroundings, such as like new people to live with, um, just like new teachers and just everything like that, it, it was challenging for me. Despite these challenges, the Fresno Unified School District is working to make sure foster youth are provided the same opportunities to learn as every other student. We believe that our children are very resilient um, despite the adversities that they face and if they're provided with the appropriate services um, that they could thrive academically and socially like every other student. The program is called Project Access and is in place at every high school in Fresno Unified. Among the services provided, academic counselors to make sure these students get the support they need, as well as addressing their social and emotional well-being. When I first came to Fresno High uh, my freshman year, I didn't have no friends and um, I just wasn't doing good. I wasn't trying to do good. At Fresno High, students like 18-year-old Chris Garrett have a place to come and share their experiences and receive counseling from clinical social workers. A lot of our kids come in with a lack of trust um, and not knowing who to trust, as well as a lot of trauma that our social workers work with them on a daily basis is trying to address that need. A safe space for them to gather talk about what they are going through. This would be described as equity of access in education, identifying students' individual needs, removing barriers to learning, and providing the appropriate resources. The state of California looks to our office to ensure that all school districts have plans that address each individual student's need equitably. Chris has been in Project Access at Fresno High for four years and credits the program for helping him get to his next stage in life. He plans to go to college and help other foster youth. That caring goes a long way just because that that can bring hope to the students that are like having a rough patch. So within that it helps the students get better and it shows that they're actually trying to care for their students. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters.